Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and most of you guys are probably debating on whether LCD or OLED is better. Now I'm going to say up front here, LCD is a definite clear winner for outdoors activity. You guys can definitely see that it's much brighter than the OLED screen that's unavailable on the iPhone X, but the same goes with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and pretty much any other OLED display on the market right now. So now we're going to put them side to side and see how much more the LCD is, how, how much more brighter the LCD is. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the blow blue shifting that's going on with the devices here now as you can see from both devices at this angle over here it's not too bad the iPhone X is actually very visible and as well as the iPhone 8 or iPhone 7 obviously and it's nothing comparable to what we had originally with the LCD on the iPhone 3G so if we swipe here and you guys can see it totally disappears when it's at an angle you can't even see from each side so I think Apple did a fantastic job there. Now I'm going to be doing another comparison of course with the viewing angles on the Samsung Galaxy S8 and Note 8 against the iPhone X. So you guys can see how much better or how much worse the devices are from each other. But again at this angle it's not so bad. Take note that both devices are at full brightness right now so if I pull down from both and I'll just move the camera right up to the front here that both devices are at max brightness right now and true tone is turned off. Now we're just going to move over to the edge right here once again and we're just going to launch up some apps. Let's take a look at some white background and see how much of a difference it is. So my friends obviously when I went on a trip with them and we were watching a video together, I gotta say that when they were on the sides of me they did notice a little blue shift and I'm going to show you guys right on camera what they meant. So while we're at an angle here you guys can clearly see that the iPhone 7 right here, the texts are much more visible than it is on the iPhone X but we're going to launch up a couple more apps. This is especially more noticeable when you launch up a white background app so let's launch up safari on both devices we'll launch this one and we'll launch this one right here so you guys can see here that the color just seems a little bit more natural on the lcd whereas this one is a little bit more blue so the more we twist it over to the side the more blue it gets let's launch up apple.com and there you guys go you guys can see pretty much the color is exactly as i mentioned a little bit more blue on this side not too bad not overboard like everybody is mentioning online so it's it's nothing crazy at the moment again it's nothing like you get on the iphone 3g over here and we'll do another comparison to show the iphone x against the iphone 3g just the different quality of color so so far apple has been working uh, from lcd all the way back from the iphone 2g and they've been improving uh, quality temperatures of their display however this year they did jump to a brand new one and this is actually a good thing. Although they are rating it at 500 plus nits, if you compare the Samsung Galaxy S8 realistically, the both devices actually look pretty on par with each other. Right now, we'll launch up a couple more websites here and let's see how well they do. All right, so on camera, what do you guys notice? You guys can drop a comment below. I'm, we're not gonna have a super long discussion about this because if you guys have made up your mind, you guys probably already know that Samsung has manufactured these displays for Apple, although Apple has designed it. So I'm just going to clear that up right away for you guys before you drop it in the comments. This is an LCD, has a backlight, so it's much more clear and bright light. We'll just twist it right up front here and we'll do another angle. And there you guys go. You guys can see that even though it's right into the background of the camera, it's a little bit more harder to see, but the iPhone over here just seems a little bit more brighter than the one on the OLED. And in person, it looks a lot more different than it is on camera right now. The camera kind of picks up camera from all around the place and just focuses on the screen. So it's a little bit difficult to see, although it is very visible in terms of when you bring it outdoors. Now yesterday or the day before, I did bring it up the mountain and it was in direct sunlight. I was trying to record a video on the iPhone X here and could not get anything out of it because the OLED panel was just not good enough, not clear enough or bright enough to actually let me see what I was doing. The app were okay, but what, as soon as I launched up the camera app, it just looks a little bit too dark for me to see anything. So that's a little bit of a pain right there. I actually had to whip out my iPhone 8 just to start recording some of the nice actions going on. Now in terms of their OLED display, you guys can see here that Apple has chosen to hide their auto brightness feature way deep inside, inside accessibilities and display accommodation for this reason. So OLED does get affected by how long you use the display or how long a specific picture has been on the display. So as you can see over here on the LCD, you have turning off brightness may affect battery life and it ends there. While this one over here says turning off auto brightness may affect battery life and long-term display performance. So I'm already starting to notice at night when I'm using the display, I do get a couple burn-ins. I'm not sure if the majority of us are getting the same thing, but the size of the iPhone X over here does have a little bit of a different color than it is right in the center. I'm getting more of a yellowish tint to it, and that's 
pretty sad to hear. I actually wanted to return the device to grab another one, but I'm guessing I'm hearing all of the forums that everybody is experiencing the same thing too. So it's not an isolated issue here. Pretty much everybody's experiencing it and Apple's actually confirming that OLED displays do have these effects to it. So the best thing to do is just not leave a specific app or a picture running on for the longest time. And it's recommended to leave auto brightness on if you want to prolong your display's life. Now in terms of the overall look of OLED versus LCD, hands down OLED just totally wipes LCD out of the waters. However, OLED does have its limitations so far at the moment. And likewise, same goes for LCD. You will have your limitations such as, you know, you can't have an always on a background and you use a little bit more battery than you would in an OLED display because you can shut down the pixels that it isn't used. You get deeper colors on the OLED, you won't on the LCD and back and forth, back and forth. There's a bunch of reasons why you wouldn't get either. But yeah, this should be it for this comparison guys. If I missed anything, drop it in the comments below. I'm gonna drop in the description below anything that you guys do bring up, I'll give you guys credit for that one as well. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm gonna be doing a bunch more comparisons in the next couple hours here. So yeah, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.